Have you ever noticed how much you scroll around a scene just to get the scene view at the right angle to work on an area, only to end up going back again and again to the same spot as you iterate on its gameplay? Well, the scene view bookmark tool might just be one of my most used tools to solve this problem. And as it's on sale for a limited time in conjunction with the Dev Days of Summer event, I figured let's see it in action. And what better to use it on than my new game? So in my last video, I spoke about making a polished game with art assets from the Asset Store, but I didn't go much into tooling, as I don't use a lot of external tools when I make my games. But no joke, the Scene View Bookmarks tool is one of my most used tools in my arsenal. And for that reason alone, I made several videos on how to make it. And for those that just wanted to grab it, I made sure to get it on the Asset Store for them. Now here I have my first level of my game, the Unimaginable Foundation. And if you like what you see, or you just want to support the channel, it's available to wishlist on Steam right now. I'll leave a link in the description. So when creating this level, I will lay out the world, and then I will start filling it with interactive components as the story dictates. And that will mean iterating on various areas over a large period of time. And you know what that means. You load the level, and then you scan to find the thing you need to work on. And then you might want to find the element in the hierarchy in order to focus on that part. It just takes a lot of time, and you'll have to do this over and over again as you iterate the level creating it. Instead, with the bookmark tool, I will first create an overview bookmark. I like to make this the first one because if you haven't noticed, when you go from scene to scene in the editor, the camera is nearly always out of place, and that's super annoying. With this initial bookmark, when I enter a scene, I press B straight away, and it will get me to this initial overview. And that's a great starting position for whatever I'm going to work on the scene. Now, after this first bookmark, I'm going to run through a more focused set of initial working views. So let's start at the top with the street entry, and I'm going to call this street for my bookmark. Then we'll move down to the turnstiles area, which I will call turnstiles. And finally, onto the platform, which funnily enough, you can guess, I'm going to call it platform. Now, say I enter a scene now. And I know I want to edit the zombie spawn locations on the platform. Maybe there's a bug that I just found when playing the game. A few presses of the B key as soon as this scene loads up and I'm there super quick with the working camera view of the spawn points of the zombies. Now, more later on in the level, when I start working on specific areas, I will just keep adding bookmarks. Like here in the operations room when the player talks to an engineer. I'm going to call this bookmark the operations room. And then secondly, on the other side of the platform, towards the end of this level, they will interact with, to turn on the power to start the subway train. And I'm going to call this the power room. Now, I can go down into my scene view overlay and select which bookmark I want to jump to. But you know me, I like to make things quick. Once I have all these bookmarks set up and I'm in the scene, I can press Alt B to launch the quick bookmark selector window, which I can then tab through to the location I'm interested in with no hassles at all. Nice and quick, getting to the point I want to work on. Also, if I happen to be in another scene, I can always select the bookmark asset alongside the scene itself and select the point I want to jump to straight away without any hassles at all. You gotta open the scene and jump to that point all with a simple click of the open key. In fact, the bookmark asset is your easy to go to location to manage a scene's bookmarks with an image preview of each of the bookmarks scene view and tools for editing and deleting them. For me working on these types of levels, this tool saves me a ton of time. Now, this level is a tutorial level, so it's quite short, but it still saves me time and effort of shuffling the mouse around to get where I want it to be, to get that scene view to the exact position I want it. And that makes this tool pretty invaluable for me. So if you want to get your hands on it, you can either build it yourself. You don't actually have to buy it. You can just watch the videos I will link in the description, which tells you how to make it. But if you want to save yourself some time, you might want to grab it while it's on sale during the dev days of summer event. So again, I'll leave the link in the description. Just make sure to let me know if you do end up checking it out. And if you haven't watched it yet, my video on making polished games using assets from the asset store is on screen right now.